What's up, guys? You know who it is. You don't even know who it is. It's the first episode. What's wrong with you now? <laughs> anyway, my name is... we. Well, we're not going to be using my name. We just want to share our stories. And if you're asking who are we, just know I have a bag. Like about Jeshia uh, Watuka 50. Wakoredi kuenda. Crazy. Yeah. Unajua. We're going to be using the name King Kobe. So King Kobe is my name. We're trying to figure out a cooler name. So drop it in the comment section once you hear our story and you let us know. But you feel like a cool story uh, with the cool stories that come up with it and the names. Just give us a cool name to work with. I know there are people who are creative out there who can give us a cool name. Please, I am not going to accept it. Let's just agree in advance. What are we going to be doing here? All right, for the next few shows or episodes, whatever. I mean, where the future will lead us. Or oh, by any chance, Rick and Morty come and save me and take me to the future and tell me and figure out how. Just come and show me how my life looks ahead. You know, I'm going to be sharing my life stories as a late bloomer, yes, because I believe late bloomers are the future. Late bloomers are the rulers of tomorrow. Late bloomers are the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Okay, late bloomers, and I'm just going to share my life stories, my struggles, my nice moments, my bad moments, my life lessons throughout the time and just show you how cool these guys are. FYI, if you think this is not a uh, one of those cool things, I'm going to give you hard facts right now. You shall know. Number one, uh, Albert Einstein. I did not think this up. This is true. I am reading from somewhere. Stop making it look like I am not, I don't know what I'm saying. You know, I know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, Albert Einstein, EMXC, my maths in Asiapo. It ends there. Was a late bloomer with his, I think he had speech impairment or something. He had speech impairment for a while. Yeah, he bloomed late. Uh, uh, yeah, he was a cool guy. I'm going to start with him and I'm just going to make it look like this is going to be a cool show to watch and like and subscribe and get interested to hear. What kind of messed up situations that I found myself in and how they forged my future ahead. You know, now the one thing I'm going to tell you as a late bloomer, if you're going to come to my comment section and try to tell me you should be this by this age, oh, because Kenyans feel like everyone should get married by 25. Yeah, 25. Or CG, you're supposed to be moving out by 30. Hey, in your own house. <clears throat> Jesus told me. If you come to my comment section with the people your age, Jehovah. Nah, no, I'm not going to introduce Jesus into this. Because if I start introducing Jesus this early, you people are in trouble. Trouble. But we're going to have uh, stories to share and, you know, tell you cool stuff. And make it look like late bloomers own all the money in the world. As I share my stories and show you how rich I am. My riches are not in here. They are stored in heaven. Stop looking at me weird. All right, I'm going to like leave you up with a cool quote. I think this is one of the things that's going to like base my whole stories throughout. Because I think it was the coolest thing I ever read. Once I found out who I was and where I was going. And it comes from... A guy called, I don't know how to say the second name. That's why I'm slowing down. Uh, rich. He's rich. His first name is Rich. So you all know, <laughs> late bloomers are rich people. <laughs> Deal with it. Kujo <laughs> tuombe. Send your talent alone, you know. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I can't say the second name, but he's called Rich someone. Carl, Carl God. And he says, by necessity, we late bloomers are on a different and more challenging trajectory. As we travel through life, we encounter obstacles like the push for conformity, the oppression of groupthink, and the pains of self-doubt. But in all these challenges, we find our hidden treasure. We unearth our individuality, and we see that a path to excellence 
what? Yeah, we see that a path to excellence, uh, to reaching our true potential. Yo, this is going to be hard, man. But I plan on putting like important quotes in here, like serious quotes to make the show look like I'm very serious. And I am, which you should not doubt. I kid you not, I'm serious. Where was I? We see that a path to ex- we see that a path to excellence to reaching our true potential uh, is available to all of us. Within these challenges lies our true power, our covert talents, and the secret advantages as late bloomers. So y'all, y'all better stick with us, man. We're gonna have a fun ride uh, here. Ready to tell y'all that the late bloomers of the future. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button, you know. And next time we're gonna be like, "Hi guys, welcome to my channel." Oh my gosh. <laughs>